Okay, this is my attempt at making a making a tutorial to show you how to do the stained glass card card topper. Um, it's got a double sticky tape on the back. You just pull this off and put it onto a any any card like that. You can just stick it right there, and there, voila, you got a card. Okay, so let's start in. What I begin with is I've got some of this, um, went to the dollar store and picked out some of the foil paper, super cheap stuff. Um, this one was by Art Skills, but it comes with all different colors. So I just picked one out and I picked out the, uh, picked out the, um, yellow, yellow gold to work with today. Um, the dies that I have. I've got various stained glass dies, and I'm not quite sure who makes them. Uh, I've had them for quite some time. Um, this one's a real pretty Celtic, Celtic um, one here. That's really pretty. That's a really nice one, but I'm not going to do these ones today. I've attempted doing this so many times, and it just didn't work out. So what I'm doing is I, I measured my die out. Uh, the one we're going to be working with is going to be the the same one as this one here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this foil paper usually is so thin, I always want a backing on it. So I cut a piece of paper about a half inch bigger than the the die itself. In my in my measurements, it was. Um, my die was three and a quarter by four and a half. I cut both cardstock and metallic paper at three and three quarters by five. And then I glued them together with my Barely Art or Art Glitter Glue. Either one works just fine. But you glue these together. Okay, and then go and go ahead and cut out your die, which is what I just did here. I cut the die out. And um, let me take this off because I'm just going to take all this stuff off of here and let these pieces fall, hopefully into the trash can, but I can see it's not quite there. Okay. Just getting all this stuff out of the die. I, wanna, I always like to start with a clean die, so of course I have to clean it before I put it away. Okay. So, these are real pretty and intricate. I really, really enjoy doing these. And I'm sure you will too. It's They're just really easy once you get going. Okay, I'm making sure you've got all these pieces off of here. Okay, just to show you what it looks like. You got a nice little background. My next step is to put glue all this together, or tape it all together. I'm sorry. I'm going to use a double-sided tape. I got in a huge roll of that. Okay. I'll take these little buggers off of here because I'm going to have to. I just usually use the scraps over again. I don't throw this stuff away because it's kind of expensive great big double double-sided sticky tape some of this stuff comes in sheets 
and that seems to work really well too. But I use it a lot, so I use the great big roll and put it up against the fence on this side. And then just go ahead and try to try to get it on there really good. You try to get it up the across the fence as much as you can, but and just stick it down. Just pushing this down. Now this side is exposed stickiness, so we don't want to. We want to make sure that we don't get our fingers on there too too darn much because you want that stickiness. Okay. Now using a razor knife, I usually just cut off the. in my glue. I don't want it to dry up. Okay. So now that's on there, I'm just going to go ahead and take a straight edge and cut that off of there. So this is pretty self-explanatory and right there. I'm just using a razor knife. Okay, so the next, now you've got exposed stickiness right there. I'm just going to make sure that's on real well. Take a putty knife and make sure I burnish that real good. So I don't want any of that just coming up while we're doing our inking. Okay. Okay, so the next thing here, next to do here is put the glitter on. I always have a paper underneath there because glitter gets everywhere. Okay, so I'm using a silk microfine glitter. This one is Warm Diamond. It's from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Just very, very fine glitter. Just pouring this on the sticky part. Just go ahead and pour some on. And what you're going to do is just put a little bit. You can always get more. And just rub it in with your finger. Just rub it around. Make sure you get it in those little nicks and crannies everywhere you go. Okay. I'm not going to sit and color this all with you. Um, I'm just going to show you how you're going to do it. And then I'll show you the, the end result again to see how it works. But you just really move that stuff around in here. Make sure every little spot gets a little bit of dusting. or Actually, the dusting. using your finger and this is what gives it the shine I know one one lady was asking about how how come hers wasn't shiny it's probably because she didn't do the double-sided tape and this really microfine glitter they are also very pretty just coloring them 
are using your Copic markers or the equivalent too is what what I have I don't I don't buy the Copic because honestly they're too expensive and when it comes down to it they all come from China so I, I went and bought the Chinese stuff and it works fine for me so I know shame on me but I I can't help it money's an issue okay I'm gonna put that back in there to save as much of this crazy glitter as I can and rub the rest on the floor for the vacuum cleaner okay so that part is done So far, simple, simple Simon. I can get everything to work right for me. Okay, so the next part is just you're using your Copic markers. And I've got these touch. Now it's a 60 piece set. And I got these from China, like I said. More than what you need. Tons and tons of colors. And for some reason, I needed two of them, so I've got more. This one's an 80 piece. Pretty much the same, just different colors. Just same, just array of beautifulness. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start with the tapping some of this glitter off of here. Okay. Using a baby dried baby wipe, I just kind of brush it off a little bit. Okay. I've got some scrap paper that I just want to see with color. Some of these colors are pretty dark. You want to go dark around the edges and then kind of lighter in the inside. But we'll go through this as we go. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm just going to show you how I go about doing this. See how close I can get without disrupting the camera. Okay, so I'm going to start with a dark blue on the fine point. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put it right on the edges here. Well, I'm going to go around the edges with this just in one of these ends. And what I do is I just tap. See? You tap and it really goes a long way. And I'll see if I can do one with the blending. And you just go inside. You just want to tap. You don't want to rub that glitter around. Making sure you get all the way around the edges. And this is why you can see that you wanted that down and attached really well so it doesn't leak to the next little hole. And you'll see that it just sucks right, soaks right in as soon as you touch. Let's see if I can get this a little closer here. To okay, I'm sorry about this Blair Witch stuff here. show you 
See, you can see as you, oh, it's trying to adjust. It's not like in that, there. See how I just tap it. Dang it. All right, come on, camera. So I've got all four corners here. Dang it. Well, that didn't do so great. All right, I'm sorry, people. I'm just bear with me. Don't do this very often. Actually, I've never done a video. And it shows. Okay, making sure you close that back up again. So that's then, and what I'm going to, I'll just go around and just do the darker colors on the outside. Then I go in with the oh, punch sickles. I see what I forgot to do. I had them all out. I missed a couple of little little dots inside here. Okay. And that's okay. I just Try to rub my finger across there and get some of that glitter in there. Best I can. And if it's not, well, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to go with a really darkish yellow. This one is a Copic. I don't have it, hardly any of them because they're crazy expensive. So, and I'm just going to go ahead and just dot. I don't know what that shows. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and dot that in there. Okay, I'm going to do this one the same color. What I really want to do is I want to do some blending. I'll show you how to do that. Because that's what's really, really pretty, pretty. And with the blending tools, I've got the, it's called a colorless blender. And what I think what it does is we, it removes some colors so that you can blend colors together. Let's go with a blue. Let's see. I'm gonna just see what color that is and see if I can get one that gets pretty close to that color. But just a little darker. I think those are pretty close. Of the darker. See the two different color shades. I'm gonna go with the darker one at the around the edges. Just to show you how to blend, I'm gonna go ahead and put this at the bottom. See, I'm just touching. And it kind of, you can see it really wanting to bleed in. I 
I leave a little bit in the middle just because so the inside of the flower is usually darker so I'm going to go ahead and do the dark on the outside here just touch Okay, and you don't have to worry about it really sticking onto the sticking on the um, coloring the um, silver or the gold because you take your baby wipe and that wipes right off. Usually, right, no problem. Okay, that's enough done there. I'm going to try and go in with a, color, a lighter color and see what that does. Boy, it looks pretty close. So I'm just going to dot and see. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit lighter. Just dot around. Kind of want to get into the thing, and don't worry about it missing any. You're gonna, you can always bring that back in. But you see, there's two distinctive colors here. Or you can go a little lighter. I mean, that would be pretty too. Or even a little darker at the bottom. Okay, so now that's on there. I want to show you the blending. Let's see. I don't know if you can kind of see the different. I don't want to get up too close because it'll distort. You know what? I want to go a little bit darker at the bottom. Let's see what this will do. And this is all just just try it and work with it, and it'll it'll work out nice. I'll go over and get this a little darker at the bottom. Just dot, 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 dot. See, now if you rub, you're going to rub all your glitter off, and that's going to cause an issue. Because then it won't look so pretty. Okay, for the sake of the camera, hopefully that'll make it a little better. So you can kind of see there is definitely a difference in color. Is what I wanted to achieve the the blending. So I'll take my blending brush, and that and this one came from Copic. It's co called co Copic Sketch. Um, of course, made in Japan. So I mean, honestly, you can buy them, but they come from the same place. So it's just a blending tool. You blend it. And this is a very soft, like brush. And it just blends in. And I just bring them around. Kind of just brilliant blend all those pretty colors together. And if you see the little spot where you didn't get, I mean, just go ahead and by all means get there. Pop it in there. I like to soften the edges and then go around the top. 
makes it a little bit lighter. I swear it takes the pigment away a little bit, so it makes it a lighter. But it sure does make the whole darn thing work nice. And so uh, I'm hoping you can see that. Okay. So yeah. And if you want it a little bit darker, go ahead with the thing and make it a little darker. It's your art, so it's the way you want to do it. This might be too dark, though. I always do the wrong end. Yeah, it's too dark. But you get the gist. Okay, so now let me try the green. The two greens. I'm going to do some leaves. Oh, I can see one right now. I missed a little spot around the edge. I pay attention to the edges because, you know, you want the stained glass to go all the way up to the edge or it just doesn't look quite like stained glass. But most of this is just dotting. Okay. Dotting and blending. So actually they're doing the work for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do the leaves. Dot, dot, dots. I usually just do the rib real quick in the darker colors. But it's pretty much just whatever you want. You can see that when you just put your put your thing on there, that the nice juicy marker they just sucks right in there. So if you want to go over it again, you sure can. I said it's your art, not mine. But once you get coloring, it goes pretty quick. Ooh, I got these backwards. I always grab the wrong size. Same. Okay. Okay, so how quickly that goes. Taking the blender brush. And for the bigger areas, you've got the bigger brush on the other side. Okay. 
see where I mean the pigment kind of just then blends right in so this is definitely something that you want you want the blender brush and mine just happened to come in the kit with it and be careful you don't go over the over the line color inside the lines of course I just wipe that off before moving into anything else I'm going to see what it does with this blue I'm just going to do lightly in the middle just take some of that pigment away so it looks more like the stained glass window. I can kind of tell, but I don't know if you can, but it just kind of lifted it a little bit, the darkness of it. And like I said, just dot, don't, don't rub. Try to rub that off before I go on to another color. <coughs> Let's do a deep red. And pull it inside. That's all. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you more on the brightness of the tail. I usually go from dark to light in the we'll do the sun in the corner here. So on the inside of is always darker. into that other area. I'll cover that up with a darker color. See right there. Just what I told you not to do here. I'm doing it. But I'm bringing this in here and here and here. Just give it a little bit of okay. Come in with a pale yellow. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of that in a minute. So the pale yellow is coming in right now. And it's okay if you go over on this one because I want the pale yellow. Although it's blending, I want it to go over, but I into 